During the time at which the coronavirus was rapidly claiming its victims, workers in Wuhan erected a 1,000-bed hospital in less than 10 days' time. It sounds impossible, doesn't it? But it didn't stop there. In the past few years, China's dedicated workers and engineers have been working tirelessly on the speedy construction of difficult infrastructure like massive bridges, skyscrapers, and high-speed rails. These are being constructed at a breakneck pace that has left the rest of the world in awe. How are they doing this? What technology are they using? Interested to find more? Keep watching! Before you continue, be sure to head down and like the video. While you're there, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a video. China's population is expanding quickly, and the country is becoming more urbanized, which has put pressure on the construction industry to work more quickly and develop new innovative buildings. Traditional building techniques are no longer sufficient in China due to the rapid pace of development. The globalization of construction, the increased expectations of building occupants, and the constant pressure on construction enterprises to maximize resources and cut costs. Building tenant experience, sustainability, and better building design are all top goals in China's emerging economy. The present economic development in China is nothing short of spectacular. National prosperity has lifted millions of people out of poverty. As a matter of fact, the urbanization of China's citizenry took place at a shockingly fast pace that no other civilization in the history of the world has been able to match. With China's urbanization continuing to grow, building-related technology and construction tools are evolving quickly. Known as the infrastructure maniac, China currently has one of the world's largest airports, the world's longest bridge, and the world's largest dam, among other very impressive structures. According to sources, for the next three years, China will pop out a new skyscraper every five days as it continues the largest building boom in history. The upcoming mega projects that are already under construction will take China's building game to the next level. The latest addition to the collection will be a massive tunnel which is going to be the longest submarine high-speed railway in the world. The tunnel will supposedly be 10 miles in length. Not including this, the high-speed railway in China already covers a total length of 40,000 kilometers. This has already effectively put it well ahead of other countries in the world. This goes to prove that China's construction priority still revolves around the well-being and sustainable transport of its huge population of 1.5 billion people. Considering the fact that this development only started to really take off in the past decade or two, how are they able to put out such impressive numbers in such a short time? The answer obviously lies in China's construction technology. Due to China's typically rough terrain, a large portion of its rail network must be elevated on bridges or viaducts. Traditionally, these viaducts are built using powerful cranes that laboriously lift tiny pieces of span into position. This is an area where the Iron Monster helps tremendously. The bridge building device, the Iron Monster, is actually called SLJ-932. It was developed by Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company and designed by Xijia Zhuang Railway Design Institute. The machine, which is 91 meters long and 7 meters wide, weighs 580 tons. This enormous device totally automates the construction of bridges, saving both time and money. The device facilitates the simple connection of lengthy beams to structures. When the bridge's pillars are built, the machine stretches and sits on one of them while a fully assembled piece is pushed through its center to join the two pillars. After the part is fitted, another portion is loaded into the machine as it continues to link the next pillars. Due to the machine's tremendous weight, the bridge is frequently extremely heavy-duty because it's built to support more weight than the machine. This is used to build rail bridges and highways, among other things. It sure does sound simple, but the process is quite hard. And unfortunately, the machine has a lifespan of only 1,000 spans, which it exhausts after an average of four years, at which point it's deactivated. Another monster of a construction device is the Kunlun, a 1,000-ton, 40-meter-long mega-machine which is being used to build the Meizhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge and can carry and install girders for the high-speed railway bridge. Between the cities of Xiamen and Fuzhou, the Meizhou Bridge, China's first cross-sea high-speed railway bridge, enables travel in less than an hour. The rail across the sea is made possible by Kunlun, the first 1,000-ton level bridge girder erection equipment in the world. The Kunlun giant bridge building machine is anticipated to create high-speed railway overpasses more quickly, more affordably, and with a time and cost savings of over 25%. In addition to increasing the carrying box beam's maximum length from 32 meters to 40 meters, 
and its tonnage from 900 tons to 1,000 tons. The Design Institute, also known as the 5th Institute of Iron, and Hanjiang Heavy Industry of China Railway, 11th Bureau Group developed a system that addresses the challenges of bridge construction and power supply coordination under special working circumstances. Higher intelligence and a great range of application scenarios are among its traits. From a safety point of view, since the weight of these massive machines far exceeds the maximum weight expected to be carried by the bridge, it can also be looked at as a reassuring from a safety point of view. Let's look at another form of commute and its construction, tunneling. The Chinese excel at tunneling and they do it with the help of machines that they have developed with the help of German freelance constructors and engineers. This tunneling equipment is the largest tunnel boring machine in the world in terms of diameter, measuring 15.08 meters in diameter and 182 meters in length. Its total weight and power are 3,900 tons and 9,900 kilowatts respectively. These machines burrow as far as 10 meters per day at a cost of just 10 million per kilometer which is significantly less what it costs the rest of the world to do. Using Chinese design and Chinese standards, the machine was collaboratively developed by China Railway Tunnel Bureau Group and China Railway Engineering Equipment Group. Moving from under the ground to up in the sky, skyscrapers in China are built using another advanced technology that is colloquially called the wall climber. The massive construction machine was created by Chinese experts and weighs 2,000 tons. It offers a platform for construction crews to work from and can maintain stability even at a height of more than 500 meters. Additionally, it is claimed that the self-supporting platform can resist hurricane force winds and sustain up to 2,000 tons of weight. The nation's own engineers created a gadget that could accelerate construction by 20%. Once construction workers have finished erecting the many stories above, the machine could push itself up evenly to create a new and higher working platform with the aid of two tracks on each side. It has a total of 12 hydraulic jacks. The weight limit for each pivot point on the tracks is 400 tons. The Hubei Provincial Capital's Wuhan Greenland Center was constructed using the machine. By the end of 2018, the 119-story tower, which costs $3.3 billion, was finished. China is the only country in the world with a greater ambition to construct skyscrapers. Chinese workers have gone out and begun constructing towers for other nations with their expertise and efficiency. The wall climbers' capability to construct an entire floor in just three days and safely do so is why it has become a very popular. While construction technology has contributed a lot to the speedy construction of China's infrastructure, it's not the only factor. The Chinese regulatory framework could possibly be an important factor as well. If we were to compare building a simple railway in China to any other country in the world, we would see that there is a lot of time lag in other countries for projects to get approved. In China, the government funds the railways. On some of the railway lines built, there is little to no profit and some even cost massive losses of millions of dollars. This can happen due to harsh weather or tracks being built in less populated regions of the country or because of high maintenance costs. In Western countries, railways are only built after it's made sure that each line is profitable. Extensive studies are performed to determine this, and if there is no profit, the construction wouldn't be allowed to progress, at least not until better plans are made. This causes a significant delay. This is not the case for Chinese construction, which is why it moves significantly quicker than the rest. So that's all we're going to cover in today's video. What do you think of China's unbelievable construction technology? Do you think this modern technology is the best in the world right now? Or do you think some other country will soon surpass it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more such construction content and we'll see you in the next video.